Welcome back! Today on Dialed In DIY, I'm going to take an advanced piece of medical tech and rip it apart. Getting medications into the lungs to treat illness has been done in one of a couple ways that's been pretty much the same over a period of time. And it typically involves an inhaler and maybe a spacer or some kind of a nebulizer. Either way, it's not always the most convenient. But there have been advances, including this dry powder delivery device that makes it much easier to get inhaled medications where they need to be. If you're like me and you really like to know how things work, sometimes the easiest way to figure them out is to rip them apart. And that's exactly what we're going to do, piece by piece. Can you guess how many pieces we might end up with by the time I'm done? Take a guess. I'll let you know at the end. As soon as you get the mouthpiece out of the way, you can see some gears as well as some shiny metal tape that's coiling up, which has me very curious about how the mechanisms inside work. So of course, we're going to keep ripping the thing apart. And these come apart with nothing other than just a little bit of extra brute force. Hey, check it out. It's actually a dial in a dialed in DIY video. Okay, sorry, back at it. Both sides of the case removed, you can start to see a lot of sprockets and other parts that really start to give us a better idea of how this thing is going to work, but we have to get a little deeper in order to really see the cool part about how the medications are actually delivered. This round piece in the middle of the back works like a winding device that attached to the blue part and that caused the medication to be able to be wound forward. When we get this plate off, you're going to see all the different gears and sprockets inside that help with the rather seamless way to move the medication forward dose by dose. As soon as we get down one more layer, we're going to get to the heart of this drug delivery device. And as you can see, there are two what look like spools of blister packs at the bottom of this device. Each one holds a different medication. What you're seeing here is the finished tapes after all the medication has been used. The unused med starts in the middle on two complete spools. When used, the blisters go to the bottom and the tape that was covering the blister pack actually gets moved to a separate spool at the top. A really clever thing about this design is it's allowing two completely different medications to be stored separately in a sterile place. By simply advancing this forward, you open up one of each of the medications and taking a puff delivers both at the exact same time precisely where they need to go to do the best work that they can do. And there you have it. All of the parts from inside of a clever little piece of medical technology that has improved drug delivery for a lot of people with respiratory problems. But because I like to dial things in, I'm still looking for angles for ways I might be able to reuse some of these parts. For now, I'm thinking about using both sides of the shell, the mouthpiece at the top and the blue cover cap to make either some form of a rechargeable LED flashlight or a secret stash device. What are your thoughts? Let me know in the comments below if you have some fun ideas for any or all of these parts. I want to thank you so much for taking time out of your day to take a deep breath, stop by Dialed In DIY, and sticking through my video. Hope you enjoyed it or got a little something out of it, and if you did, please let me know by clicking that thumbs up below. I'd also really appreciate it if you would subscribe to my channel, ring that bell so you get notifications for future projects, and then please make sure to check out playlists because there's a lot of different types of DIY projects that I've got out there. And as always, please remember to come on back in the future because there will be plenty more dialed in DIY to come.